Alrighty, we are at Calico Ghost Town and we are on the train getting ready to go. Let's do this. This is Hard Rock Harris, and I'm here with Mrs. Annie Rickard, two miners from Calico's heyday. We would like to welcome you aboard the Calico and Odessa Railroad. Howdy there, folks. Y'all please stay seated as we take a ride together along the back country of Old Calico. As we go around this first curve, notice the miners' cabins built along the canyon walls. As crude as they appear, they were ideal for protecting us from the hot summers and cold winters here at Calico. And perfect for the independent types who like to fend for themselves. Of course, many miners stayed in boarding houses, mainly for modern convenience, like home cooking. I got my nickname, Hard Rock, because that was exactly the kind of mining we did around here. It was so hard, and we didn't have any water to use for mining, so we had to hack and blast away at the rock. During the boom years, Calico's 10 square mile mining district boosted a population of nearly 2,000, with almost 1,000 actually living in the town side of Calico. After the mining ended, Calico really was a ghost town. That's to say, it was mainly abandoned. But it was restored and reconstructed by the Knott family in the 1950s. Miners use. We will push these out of the mine and stockpile our ore until we have a trainload full. Then it was shipped to a processing mill on a narrow gauge train similar to the one you're riding on now. Now, if y'all look left, this is an ore crusher called an Arista. Miners would hitch a horse or mule to that crossbar and have it walk round and round, which caused the steel ball to drag over and crush the ore before it was taken to a processing mill. See, just like the smaller narrow gauge locomotives, the big trains of those days ran off of steam from the Waterfield Village. Another one of our neighbors is Uncle Corey. It may no longer be visible, but when the boom ended here, some miners got jobs over there as borax miners for the Pacific Coast Borax Company. The Corey and Daggett Railroad was even built right up into Mule Canyon, making for a more efficient operation for the company. It became the last place in California where the famous 20 mill teams were ever used. Now, if you all look over Main Street, you can see the same view we did as we ventured into town for supplies and relaxation. There are actually five buildings on Main Street that have been standing since the 1880s, when it was a bustling place. Calico was a real town for about 20 years. We had a post office, school, courtroom, newspapers, and a slew of stores. Not to mention quite a few saloons, I can promise you that. Luckily, we even had doctors, lawyers, and a justice of the peace. My favorite place was the town hall, where we had dances and all kinds of entertainment. Those were dandy, huh? Now we get closer to the train depot. Take a look down into the gully to the left of the train. These ruins are from a Chinatown, where almost 40 Chinese lived and worked at Calico during the boom years. Amy did laundry for the miners and operated a couple of restaurants. Well, folks, we hope you had fun and maybe even learned a few things on our tour today. Please come back and join us again. We love having you. Yes, we do. Don't forget to mosey over to the Maggie Mine. I hear there's a great tour over there, too.
Okay, we can get a little bit of the Maggie Mine. This part's kind of bright, bright enough. And then we're at the exit. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hmm. We're walking out of the Maggie Mine. It's pretty cool. Now we are doing a little hike up to Lookout Point. So we are at Lookout Point and we went through the Maggie Mine after we rode the train and we started right here in the front of this. So that means walking through. We went through all this area here. Huh. It's pretty cool. Check that out. It's a nice day today and there's hardly any people. It's not busy at all. It's pretty nice, like I said. I like this bridge. It's cool. Yeah, we walked here before. No. Calico Ghost Towns. Tours. Dollhouse. Other side. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, that's what we were up there. Alrighty, you got this little bridge. It's cool. I have a fascination of bridges. Four bridges of bridges.